Assalamu alaikum, grade 6. Welcome again to the physics session. Today, inshallah, we're gonna start lesson number 4 in this is chapter, chapter number 2. And the title for today is Momentum. Momentum is the one of the most important phenomena in physics, especially in classical physics, and that's talking about the any object in motion. So any object in motion have momentum. Today we're gonna to explain the momentum, what's the meaning of momentum, and how I can calculate the momentum and conservation the momentum. So in the beginning, air hockey or all hockey science, air hockey that's kinds of game that's depending on physically in momentum. In the simple words, momentum is physical quantities that all moving objects have. So any moving objects, any objects in motion have momentum. So the first point in this is lesson, what is an object's momentum? How I can describing the momentum and calculating the momentum of an object in motion. So, as you know, any objects have velocity and have mass. So, if I put it the mass and the velocity of an object in relationship, I find the momentum. So, all moving objects have what Newton called it quantity of motion so Newton called it the momentum quantity of motion but today we called it momentum so momentum of moving objects can be determined by multiplying the mass by its velocity so that's the relationship between the mass and velocity of an object in motion that found to found the momentum the quantity of motion or amount of motion Again, motion that's described by velocity and momentum. Velocity means the amount of distance by time and the mo momentum that's described by mass and velocity. So this is objects have velocity and actually have momentum. Why? Because the momentum that quantity of motion or amount of motion. So, the unit of momentum that's described by kilogram times meter per second. Kilogram for mass of this object and meter per second that's for velocity. And you can remember the velocity that's described by the strength and the, or the amount and the direction. So, momentum that's different for velocity. Why? Because the velocity that's describing the amount of distance or changing the distance between in different time. But the momentum describe the amount of motion. And that's unit of momentum kilogram times meter per second. And momentum that's described by both direction and strength. Just like the velocity, momentum that an object in the same direction of velocity. Again, who can answer this question? The momentum is vector quantities or standard quantities? Excellent. Vector quantities. Why? Because that's described by two vectors, direction and strength, just like the velocity. And the direction of momentum of an object just like the direction of velocity of this is object now you can watch this is video that's driving the effects of momentum and the body that's driving the car have the same moment or momentum of this is car
So this is video that's describing the effect of momentum when the momentum change suddenly. So this is video describe the changing the momentum suddenly and describing another phenomena that's studying in last session that's called inertia or the first law of motion by Newton's Newton's law first law Newton's of motion that's describing the inertia the state of an object and changing the states and changing the momentum suddenly that can make this is effect and actually that's talking about the rising the curve by getting the belt or not with the belt or without the belt and the bad effect for riding the car without the belt actually the movement more movements object movement um, uh, momentum of moving objects that has harder to stop why because that have large amount of movement the mass of an object affects the amount of motion or amount of momentum. Why? Because that factor affecting the momentum mass and velocity. When the velocity high, the momentum high, and the mass high, the momentum high. So you can watch in this video that describing the effect of momentum or changing the momentum. So, this is man that's riding the train and have the same moment of train. When that's jumping out the train and the not the same direction of the direction of the train that can make suddenly change direction and momentum. Actually, momentum we can calculate the momentum by this is formula. Momentum equal mass and velocity so momentum b sum of b that's equal m times v m mass times v velocity so momentum depending on the mass and velocity of an object b equal m times v so momentum equal mass times velocity and the momentum units depending on mass unit and velocity units mass kilogram and velocity meter per second that's for SI units or international system of units and momentum collecting by unit kilogram times meter per second now if, if I give you if, give, if I give you some uh, examples for mass and velocity for an object in motion and I ask you to calculate the momentum you can answer to me uh, with me in this is problem if I tell you about uh, an object mass have 0 0.10 kilogram and moving in velocity equal 40 meters per second and I tell you how I can calculate the momentum. Momentum equal mass m times v. So when I multiplying this is number and this is number, I get the momentum. So momentum equal 0 0.1 kilogram for mass of an object times 40 meter per second. That's for velocity of an object and b. That's momentum equal 4 kilograms times meter per second. That's amount of motion or the quantity of motion. Excellent. All of you now understand the mo momentum and the, how I can calculate the momentum and describing the effect of changing suddenly of momentum. And actually, the direction of momentum just the like the direction of velocity again direction of movement just like the direction of velocity of an object now we going to the next step that's called conservation of 
momentum. What's the meaning of conservation of momentum? You can remember the first law of motion by Newton's that describing any objects. If any object don't affect it by outside force that stay in the same state. So conservation movement that's called not losing any energy in this system. Why? Because conservation movement of this is both. Again, the law of conservation movements states that in the absence of outside forces like friction and other forces that affecting any object, so the total of movements of objects that incorrect does not change. So that not occur any change of this object. Be, be, that's due to the conservation of, uh, of movements. Why? Because that's not affecting by outside forces. Outside forces, that's nothing. Like friction and other forces. So, so here the law of conservation movement, or uh, the law of conservation momentum, the total momentum before Collision that equal total momentum after collisions. So the mass and velocity equal after and um, before and after the collisions. So that's happen when the without outside forces affecting in this is object. So this is video and this is video describing the motion that conservation in momentum that don't losing any energy or any momentum why because that's we ha don't have any outside forces that affecting in this is objects in motion but this is objects have difference this is car have friction force between the tires and the ground or the surface that's affecting for speed and the momentum of this car that can make this car slow down so the change of momentum that's not any conservation of momentum here in this video because that's affecting by friction force so you can watch this video and this is the end of our lesson today this is video describing the amount of momentum when the Train car movements alone that have the same momentum, but when the train car one suddenly crush the train car two, that give it the momentum. So the train car two that raising the amount of momentum and losing the momentum for train car two. But in when the collecting the momentum and the momentum of two train cars that can make it moving together with the same momentum so this is the end for lesson today and this is all for this is lesson that's talking about the momentum i hope you understand what i said any question you can send me in whatsapp and please answer your worksheets and send me in whatsapp Thank you for listening and goodbye.